This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Paint with Rob. We are painting the dragon from uh, Swords and Sorcery. Now, I'm going to show you what he looks like, and this is going to be quite the undertaking. Um, we're going to bring up this picture here, and I want to make sure that you guys see. You can see all the, f you know, how he has that internal furnace going. And then, of course, we have all the different color heads that, that go with him, which makes him quite the fearsome foe. So uh, to get him like this is going to take a lot. And I've seen a lot of people just go completely the other way, but we're going to try to attempt this. And it's not going to be an easy task. Uh, it's going to be a lot of highlighting, a lot of, sh you know, building layers upon layers. But we will definitely get to it and see if we can get it as close. And I'm going to show you how to do it and, and how we highlight and bring this guy up to par. So without further ado, I can only tell you, let's go down to the table and get started. Now, as you can see, we have the stars here, or whatever you want to call them. I'm, I'm not good at pronouncing the names. This guy here is, is a lot of work, that's for sure. There's a couple ways we could do it. We can do, I, I, you don't have a clear shot of him, so I'm going to kind of show you what he looks like here and without giving too much away. That's not an easy paint job, that's for sure. Uh, you can go with a lava effect all through this guy. I just wonder if it's worth doing that. And I think it'd be good for everybody to see. Then you got the other heads that are green and whatnot. So um, I think we just might try it. I don't think it'll hurt, that's for sure. So we're gonna try to go with the lava effect here and see how that works. So let's start with the first thing. And I think uh, we're going to take some uh, Wagog Flesh. If it, yeah, there we go. And we're gonna paint one of the heads green. I think we're gonna pick this one here. I'm gonna just get it all green and we'll worry about detail later. Right now we wanna get our base coats on. So I got this green watered down a little bit, put a little water on it. And now we're just gonna, well, yeah, we're gonna paint this head. And all I wanna do, now I got this water down, so we're gonna need a couple coats of this, uh, especially going over the black, but because the black is gonna be one of the main colors on it, that's why I primed it, or else I would've primed it something a little bit different. But we're gonna get this all on here. I'm going to put a couple of coats. Now I'm going to just go over everything here. I'm not going to worry about their faces until after I get that lava effect done. Because that's going to take most of my time with this guy. And as you can see, the head's in a weird, you know, this is a beautiful dragon. That's all I'm going to say. It's a beautiful, beautiful dragon. And I'm not worried about getting on the other head there. I want to be careful on the body here though that's what I really want to do so I'm gonna finish this up I'm gonna I'm gonna get get a couple coats on this and then we're gonna come back next thing I'm gonna do yeah don't fall over I'm gonna be using <laughs> Vallejo white um, I really want to I'm gonna be using mostly Vallejo here for this uh, and you may see I'm gonna just put a little bit more and you're gonna see me change a couple brushes now the thing here with this is, and I'm gonna take a little bit of water, and I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm not worried about coverage here, okay? What I'm trying to do is break up an area, and this is gonna look real bad before it looks real good. So, all I'm gonna do is, oh, see how nice that goes over that? And I just, I'm not worried about getting it all. All I wanna do is just as you can see I'm just trying to get inside that wing there a little bit I'm gonna do the same thing on this wing 
And you're probably saying, well, why, why are you doing that, Rob? What's the whole point of this? Well, the whole point of this is to have a foundation for the red that I have to put underneath here. So I've got to do this, and I just want that red to sit brightly there, because that's going to give us the effect that we want. And you're going to see that we're going to work from a dark color, and we're going to work our way out. Let me just... I'm, I'm over here and I know you guys can't see that you're gonna have to bear with me I'm gonna have to I'm not worried about hitting anything or anything like that and again all I'm doing is I want this this with this big brush because I'm gonna have to go over with the black anyways and I just want a foundation for my white to go in and that's going to pop that and make it a little lighter. Now, if you notice, I'm really not rushing it in there. Or really trying to get in the recesses because that black is also going to help me. And at least I think it is. I could be wrong. And I'm going to do all this, all these wings. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next with the white as well. Now into the tedious part. Now, this isn't supposed to be neat. So don't think... Uh, I, I'm sitting here, you know, cutting this, and I'm going to have to go over this with black after it's all done, but all I'm trying to do is on the insides here, this is where we're going to sell that he's kind of like this fire brimstone type of dude, is that in every gap, it's going to look like he has like lava in his soul. So you can see what we're doing here. All I'm doing, just to show you, is I'm just taking the, the white, and I'm picking out all the areas that I'm going to have this this effect and that's going to help me when I start building the reds in here and I'm not worried about being neat about it right now now some of you might be saying well how come you didn't just uh, well basically paint it white I mean paint it black I mean spray paint it white and then just paint it over the black so you don't have to do it twice either way you're, you're gonna make mistakes here so you could be sloppy here, but it's easier to come back over the top with the black to cover up light colors. See what I'm saying? So we're going to just, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to work my way all the way around the tail and into the front, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Now, the next color I've taken is a Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a Citadel paint. And I'm taking, and I'm really watering it down a lot here. Okay, and all I want to do is just kind of go through these edges here. I'm not worried about how much excess I get in there. I just want to get all these little areas. And you can see where I got in the wings, so I made sure I got into the grooves there. And what I'm going to do is actually change brushes here and go to a smaller brush like I originally had. Just get some of that, that watered down color. And all I want to do is just come in here and now go over all the spots that I, I got white. And I'm not worried if I go and I make a mess here because we're just working this area here. And we really want this. See how nice and bright that red is? And that's because we use the, we use the uh, uh, white as an undercoat. But I, I kept it nice and thin. Everything's nice and thin here. And that's the important thing is keeping it thin. We're going to clean all this up. We're going to have a lot of cleanup actually with with uh, the color black. And as you can see, I'm just going over this. I'm not worried about making a mess or hitting other areas. Because I'm going to, like I said, a lot of cleanup. But we want to get that effect in there. So I've got to make sure that I hit all these areas. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll come back. Now I am going to take some Fire Bright Dragon, which is a layer paint. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this paint, okay? Nice and thickly on my brush, right? Okay. And then I'm going to come over here. And i got a little puddle of water here. And I'm going to add more water than I do have paint there and oops 
There's a reason for it. I'm going to bring it up here so I can see. See how nice and thin that is? I actually want a little bit thinner, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Nice and thin. Very, very thin. Okay. And I'm going to use this from here, and all I'm going to do with this bad boy is I'm going to just come and just go over all this red. Okay. And I want it nice and thin because I do want the red to kind of come through. It looks doesn't look right yet. I know. I know you're saying, oh my God, this looks like such a mess. But just trust me. This is a long process, but in the end, it's really going to pay off. And if you have a little white coming through here, then this is a good time to kind of get that. And you're going to really want to... Now, this is actually going to lighten up when it dries, believe it or not. And we're going to take some more. We're going to come, I already started the wing here, as you can see. And I'm just taking, and again, I'm not worried about being neat, okay? I'm really not worried about being neat at this point. But what I am making sure is that I have good coverage, and that's what's most important. Oh, let's bring that in there a little bit. Oh, there we go. And I'm just making sure I've got good coverage on this. Now I'm going to do the rest of this, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you the next layer that goes on this. The next thing I've done is I basically just took a nice thin layer of, of basically uh, flash git yellow. And I watered it down a lot. I really wanted that lightness in there, and there's a reason for it. Now the whole point here now is to clean everything up, see where I am, and then start our highlights. As you can see, we've I finished uh, painting all the heads, the, the appropriate colors that we needed. And uh, what I need to do here is just make sure that we get everything all cleaned up so we can start highlighting, darkening, and then lighting out. And you'll see exactly how this all pays off. So, I'm going to get started on that. So now I'm just taking a bat in black, and basically all I'm going to do is I am going to start all these areas I went over, and I kind of just went outside of, because I went crazy. Now you remember, this was all a certain color at one point. This was all actually primed black. So I, I water this down a little bit, and all I'm going to do is start bringing back the form that we were looking to so we can highlight our way out of this. And we've got quite a bit to do. So I'm going to get this going, and I'm going to go over all these areas that I ran over on. The legs and stuff like that. And I really want to come up this spine, and I really want to start cutting into that. And I'm just going to show you really quickly how I kind of want to start cutting into that and just start forming some of that uh, just neatening this up and making this all conform so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do this and then we'll come back and you'll see where we'll be at alright so we touched up all the black pretty much as you can see we have got the wings kinda where we want for now and we got the heads painted but that's going to end this for now. This is part one. We're going to have to do part two. And that's where we're going to take our base coated dragon here. And we're going to bring it to life. We're going to make the, as you can see, we kind of have the lava. I'm going to, I'm going to come down to the table here and get a better shot of it. But um, before we, you know, after we do that, we'll go exactly up top and we'll get my final thoughts. All right. As you can see, uh, you know, you see how the black and we have that he has that fire energy that we're building up but we're really gonna really bring this all out to life very soon with the uh, with, with some of the things that I have planned to really essential you know really bring this stuff out but uh, right now this is going to be uh, part one and then we'll head to a part two let's go up top and uh, talk a little bit about this bad boy and that's only part one. Uh, so getting the actual base coats of this guy is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Because first of all, you're gonna prime him black, then you're gonna layer and layer and layer and layer so you can get 
that right kind of blend and mix in there. And uh, next what we're going to do is we are going to start to highlight and make this guy not look like a cartoon figure but an actual dragon and that's what we're going to do so if you stick with me i th you know right now it doesn't look that great but i've always got something up my sleeve so stick with me next week you'll see part two and uh away we go huh uh there'll be all kinds of other painting videos that you'll see in the in, in between of course but we are really going to uh make this guy shine so, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.